Susul, everyone. This pack was provided to me by EA for review, but all of the thoughts, opinions, and unfortunately, the laundry contained inside are my own. Hello everyone, and welcome to the dawn of a brand new day. In fact, the dawn of a brand new type of day, because the Sims 4 Laundry Day Stuff Pack has finally come out. And thanks to the kindness of EA, I have it in my hands, and we are able to transform a very certain, particular, really awesome cow plant family farm into a laundry making machine. Uh, and actually, I just realized if you think about it, a farm is definitely a laundry making machine on its own, but we're going to be a laundry cleaning machine because when this pack came out and I thought about it, I realized there's no household. I am more excited amongst all of my Sims and all of their stories to see what laundry could do for Sims 4 than the Green family legacy and their current journey through raising kids and cow plants on a family farm that they're trying to save. And uh, Pine in particular here, being the kind of man to really pay attention to the details and the particulars of his family's life, I'm sure is going to be absolutely thrilled to wake up any minute now, you two. <laughs> and possibly dump his clothes on the ground, in which case we could put them in this brand new hamper. Pine, I saw your shadow move. You sneaky sneak you waiting for us until I turned my back were you. You're so, you're, I can't get mad at you. You're just too adorable. I love his little blue eyes. Oh, my baby boy Pine. Okay, don't get distracted, Siri. Uh, well, I mean, we can, <laughs> that's like, that's like wishing for the moon to turn into gold, but hey, we can do our best. But we are here with a laundry hamper and apparently this magical machine will actually start providing us a place to plunk our dirty clothes and then from there we can transform these dirty clothes into clean clothes that will hopefully give our sims really great moodlets and those little extra touches those tiny additions to their daily lives that really make pine happy to provide for his family and so temporarily we have transformed the sims 4 cow plant challenge which is one of of my active Sims 4 series into a testing lot to both make and take care of the laundry that will be generated here and check out Laundry Day's pack. If you are an avid watcher, don't panic. This is just a temporary side save. We cheated in a ton of money so that we could decorate the house in wicker, as you will see in a second, and install the latest and greatest in laundry cleaning technology. But we will be resuming the challenge very soon, finishing it up. <gasps> Gasp, that's fine happening and who knows if we'll win and if it'll end well but for now we're going to go ahead and we're going to see what happens if we just play with laundry on the farm i figured there's no better place to make a bunch of dirty laundry than where we also have some not exactly super duper tidy kids but i'm also jumping around the house and getting a little ahead of myself so while we let the family kind of roam around and do their own thing take care of themselves do not oh well take care of yourself kidlet um, but as they roam around the house and they do their own thing, we'll follow them about and I shall show off the many laundry day items that I have scattered throughout the domain. I'll give you a hint. If you see something wicker, you know you're on the right track. But let's go ahead and start with uh, Devin, actually, because there's only two items from the Laundry Day stuff pack that I actually put in here, one of which is this rug. So she has a very nice woven rug right here. It's really quite lovely. I, I'm not really a very buildy person. I prefer building up my Sims stories and kind of giving myself a ton of goals and challenges to do with them so that I can see how the characters evolve. So I'm not usually one of those people who gets really distracted just by like decorating a room. I could be. I'm really getting into the details and the way that the details can show off my sims, but I'm not normally one of those people who is like, oh my gosh, it's a new rug. I am so excited. That changes if you show me a plant, but that's a different matter entirely. However, I have to say, I'm really enchanted with this rug in particular. And this, like, well, all of the rugs, actually, as you'll see, that came with the laundry stuff pack. But this rug in particular is the Fringe Benefits rug. And as always, guys, seriously, go through and kind of read a lot of the descriptions for the different items if you do have the pack. Because this time around, they really had me rolling on the floor. And a few of them tricked me. And I had to reread it like five times to make sure I wasn't 
wasn't reading an announcement for a fantasy and magic Sims 4 pack, which I clearly wasn't, but I just misunderstood it at first. So you too can search the descriptions for clues and completely convince yourself of non-existent expansion packs if you only go ahead and take the time to do so. And Fringe Benefits, uh, in today's world of plain Jane rugs, you'll want to add something to your room to give it that extra oomph. Introducing the Fringe Benefits rugs, bringing Fringe back into style one home at a time. And we won't go through all of the descriptions because like I said, they're really fun to read and be completely befuddled on on your own. But I, there's a lot of styles and one of the things I often get tripped up, well this one does not show it very well. There's another rug down in the library that I'll show you guys. Oh no, spoilers! Spoilers! You guys probably saw the wicker! But hey, that's okay because look at this! We have one of our young kidlets hanging out down here so we can justify popping in this room. But one of the things that often tri trips me up with the Sims 4 rugs is that I forget to look at all of the different options. I just see the thumbnail rug and I'm like, oh, it looks like that is the only color. Th this is the only selection of color this rug may come in. And if I actually take the time to dig through the swatch tool, you can see the color and the shape changes entirely so that you can get really, really, really different designs and really different themes just by making sure that you poke it properly. So I just wanted to say that because I've been a, like a, at this rate, I've simmed for longer than half my life since I was 10. So almost 20 straight years of simming and I still forget to look beyond the thumbnail sometimes. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there because there are a lot of um, really interesting designs in the throw rugs. Eh? Eh? <laughs> If you just dig through the swatch tool and they make them look very different and entirely change the tone, if you will, of the rooms. So there we go. We're going to we're going to kind of poke the different rooms. We're going to search. We're going on a quest for wicker. Oh, 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 oh. And we also have this really adorable. Come back here. Come back here, my, my dear little one. Amber, come back here. I love how she's still wearing her little night robe. But this is the new ottoman that came with the pack. And I'm actually really intrigued by it. It's very pretty. Uh, apparently, oh, look at her be so cute. Apparently, Amber, no, Amber, come back. I was trying to take a picture. I'm sorry, I hit caps lock instead. But uh, yeah, apparently she likes it because she's swinging her little feet and she's kind of tapping on her little, look at that, that was so cute. What a lovely little idling animation. I don't think I've ever noticed kids just kind of poke their knees like that before. But with Amber, this is the brand new little ottoman that came in The Sims 4 Laundry Day. And it's really cute. Uh, I'm not really sure where I would put it just yet, but I know for a fact that there were a ton of people who saw the Ottoman and were like, oh my gosh, my, my prayers have been answered. And that wasn't me, as I will probably say for a lot of this, but I am surprisingly happy. Not just because the pack like was given to me to dig through and see what I could enjoy with, but because weirdly enough, even though... I didn't really, like, there were only a couple of the plant-related items that I was like, woohoo, about in, in the game. Even though I wasn't really, like, leaping for joy, but I was content. Like, I was content coming into the pack is what I'm trying to say. And I have to say, guys, after having um begun to sprinkle so many of the items through the house... I actually really love it, especially if you're going for a more kind of country motif or like a little country feeling for your family living on a little farm. This pulled it together in a way I don't think digging through almost any of the other stuff in the game so far has really done for me. And perhaps that was because I was raised in the Midwest, Texas and Missouri for so long. And yes, I am well acquainted with the world of woven rugs. My mother actually used to make rugs like these as a hobby. And I'm well acquainted with the current fad of succulents in little tin tubs <laughs> that's all over the place back in Missouri right now. So I don't know, maybe it's like a little bit of nostalgic charm that reminds me of what actually being and living in the countryside in the modern day felt like. And it wasn't just like some sort of idea of, of items that seemed like a collection uh, of people's idea of the countryside. It's kind of stuff I'm used to seeing, like actually seeing. Also, why did you just gain responsibility? 
What on earth? How do you gain responsibility from doing bit block? I ask you, my my dear, dear, dear Fern. Oh my gosh. But anyway, Fern is showing off many of the items. And again, on the items, it's not like the team picked out these specific items, but I thought it was just very interesting because we all voted on it. But I thought it was interesting and it made me wonder if people kind of were a little biased to voting on maybe what they see in their homes or what they see on Pinterest, depending on um, the angle you're going to go at it. But I digress and I'm getting distracted. We're also still allowing our Simleys to run around. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh. Where are they? Uh, Let's see. Yeah, our little Sims are all running around and they are not dropping their laundry on the ground. I would be very happy if somebody would just act like, oh, 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 wait, you can just straight up do laundry? Oh my gosh, that changes everything. Okay, we'll dig into that in just a second. Well, going through the items again, like I said, weirdly, I was not looking at this shelf going, yay, woohoo, unless you count the fern. I really like that fern. I am so excited. I know bronze and lotus on on Tumblr is probably going to be like tearing this fern off of this rack and separating the items into custom content as we speak. But I wasn't really looking forward to like this. This is called like the made essentials shelf. And I wasn't really that excited about it. And then I actually got my hands on it. And I was like, you know what? Now that I think about it, my bathroom's always have been kind of empty, and that, oddly enough, really makes it feel like a real room. And that's kind of the theme for all of the other items that are in this pack, is I wasn't really like, woohoo, woohoo, unless you count all the plants. I gave them a little shrine if you can't tell. Uh, also, don't worry, that's that's just, that's just, um, Allison's grave right there. I didn't... <laughs> I didn't do anything nefarious for the sake of the plants. I haven't lost my mind over plants that much yet. Don't worry, guys. But uh, yeah, I just was, I'm really surprised and enchanted so far with how everything kind of pulls the house together and makes it feel a lot more like a home, like a real home and not just a box that I shove my sims into until I can think up the next devious goal and story to thrust upon their lives. So it's kind of like a small items collection. It's a stuff pack. It's it's exactly what I think the essence of a stuff pack should be. There's a gameplay item that we're going to be digging through in just a second now, but there's just a lot of stuff. And weirdly enough, it was the right kind of stuff. So surprisingly, this pack has already gone way up my list of favorite packs. And I haven't even really looked at like what exactly the laundry does. So we'll be looking through the laundry in just a second. But if you will give me just a moment, I'm going to wax poetic about my favorite part of the pack. So far, at least the plants. Look at these little guys. There are not currently a lot of different swatch options on these wicker baskets. So these little wicker baskets down here uh stay the same plant color i guess most people would be like but siri there's a white basket there's a brown basket there's a really dark brown basket what are you talking about not a lot of swatch items i basically mean the plants themselves stay the same color i guess i'm really biased to the plants you can always rely on me for that at least then sometime one day one day that will prove to be extremely essential but yeah, you don't get a lot of color change on these wicker baskets. I really do like them though. I think that they're quite charming and I would love if somebody could one day maybe separate the baskets and then make it so that we could possibly put our own custom plants into because then you could definitely decorate with wicker everywhere, which fun fact would actually be my beloved Chips' nightmare. He really hates wicker. So I kept cackling as I put down all of the wicker items and the woven items that came in this pack because I was like, <laughs> we aren't allowed wicker in this house because a certain someone hates it, but it's all over this one. So it was really fun. But that's another, I, I digress, I digress. Uh, anyway, I really love these reefs. To be honest, so far out of all of the, mm, well, they're definitely in my top three three of my favorite furniture items from the game pack right now, or the stuff pack, excuse me. Game pack is something entirely different and hopefully adventure related in just another month or so. I can't wait for that teaser trailer. <clears throat> but with this reef, I love the design of it. I love the look of it. I'm surprised at how natural it looks on a wall. And I am sitting here going, you're surprised at how natural it looks, Siri. It's literally made out of branches and flowers. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, I'm surprised at how natural the reef looks, but it comes in a lot of delightful colors and I could actually really see the reef showing up in a lot of uh, like weddings with this pink one over here, or there's also, I love the green one, as you can tell, it's my bias, but there's also some darker ones. So, you know, when it's spring, you could have the nice pink one. When it's summer, you can have the nice green one. There's some of the oranges and the reds and the yellows that you could have for the autumn. Maybe you do a winter one with the blue here. Um, you know, on the assumption that one day the weather will be more than just a sunny sky in the Sims world. But it's just really lovely. And I surprisingly could see it in a lot of different settings and a lot of different households. And I haven't tried like pseudo putting it in front of a door yet because I know a lot of people like hang theirs on doors. But look how nice that looks. Look how easy that looks. I'm pretty sure my Sims could still walk in and out. In fact, let's make somebody run outside just to test this. And I know exactly what I want to test too. All right, somebody's doing her homework, so I'm not going to mess with her. But somebody else can come and sit outside on this wicker. Don't worry, I've got more wicker to show off to you. So let's see. Can she come out the door? She sure can. Would you look at that? That is so cool. So if you want to hang the reef above your door, totally something you can do or to the side. Pretty darn sure if you just smack it right in the front, it's going to look really weird even the, if the Sims could go through it if they're walking through it. So make sure to hang it up high. Who knows, maybe one day we'll get mistletoe again. That would be really cool. All right, and then there's also this hutch again surprisingly I didn't see it and go woo hutch but now that it's here I'm like wow I could put a lot of the different details I could put the kids completed school projects I might be able to put in some favorite books for skills we're currently working on maybe some family photos surprisingly pleased with the hutch it feels really natural and it feels like I could put a ton of the family stuff in it just really on the the parse stop crying the woman is literally living it up in your house as a ghost right now pine okay we're gonna make him wash laundry with his tears which would be a really cool little moodlet thing if we could make him do that but we'll move on from the various items this is a table that is actually in the pack as well there's a really really cute double-ended coffee table that I kind of want to like stuff a whole bunch of little kids toys and little dog and cat toys down here because it seems like the perfect catch-all for all of that stuff that the little floor crawlers get to kind of like hide in this little secret nook that the adults don't see very often. So I'm going to play with that probably more thematically than anything because normally when you're up with your sims you don't even see what's down there but how cute would it be if you got down here to take a good picture of the animals and you turned around and it's like, oh, and look at that. There's Bobo's little squeaky do doll. That's where it went. So I think I'm going to like mess with that later just to kind of make those details that make up a home. Um, And then this rug, the infamous rug that caused a little bit of a kerfuffle when it was revealed to the public because people were so worried about how big it was. Would it come separated? It is not uh, immediately obvious, but it is indeed separated. It doesn't like look at like it at first because some of these colors are hiding inside of the various rugs that came in the game but this little eclectic rug trio is actually spread out in the new items you just kind of have to do a wee bit of digging to find it like here's the fringe benefits rug it's the recolored fringe benefits rug um let's see gosh there's so many rugs now my goodness um anyway Gosh, I have so many rocks, I can't even find them fast enough. I'm like, is it this one? Is it this one? Anyway, just trust me. They're in there. They're in there. They are indeed the different rugs that came in this pack. So I'm I'm happy they did end up separated, but uh, they do come in a huge collection of colors as a result. And each one of the colors that you see is a color of the rugs that are hiding somewhere inside of the increasingly huge labyrinth of rugs. Very soon this should satisfy any of you who really love rugs. Who knows, maybe that'll be the next stuff pack. Making a rug stuff pack. I wouldn't mind if the gameplay item included a flying rug, actually. A flying carpet would be kind of cool. Anyway, I once again digress and get distracted from doing laundry. It's very 
very similar to getting distracted from doing laundry in real life, it seems. But we also have a lovely little lamp tucked right over here that has a, quite a bit of like, I mean, it's really good. It's just simple, so it can kind of fit into so many different environments. But it does remind me a lot of the Spa Day lamps, except for the fact that it doesn't have the ability to put out Moodlet Boost, which, you know, if you like the Moodlet Boost, you might want to break out the Spa Day ones. If you don't, no big deal. There's also the absolutely beautiful succulent planter that I have been oh so eager to get my hands on. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Those succulents are so much bigger than any succulents that I have managed to get my hands on in quite a long time but it's there we have this really 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 adorable tiny mini succulent garden that I cannot wait for people to separate because this is more the kind of succulent item I would love to have that I can just kind of put down on a desk because that's what you see everywhere that's what people do they put a tiny little succulent garden on their desk and then it dies in a couple of weeks because everyone was like oh don't water it okay don't want now now water it enough and then it, it dies I'm terrible at keeping succulents alive thankfully I think I can hand these dead branches and a lovely little picture so those are there and this basket this basket is so cute I don't know why I'm so in love with these kinds of details but I am it is an adorable little basket of gourds and it looks awesome and it's on a really cute little wooden little wooden crate so all together taking each one of those items on their own, they're kind of cute, but put them all together and it definitely gives off quite the country flair. The only weird thing about this item, just to give you guys a heads up if you're thinking about slamming it into a corner, is that it has a huge footprint. <laughs> It's a huge footprint, so you may need liberal use of the Shrinky Dink tool, or you may need liberal use of the build objects on, or like uh, move objects on, excuse me, cheat in order to get it in those spots that you need. And I haven't tested if Sims will ignore the, the little footprint very well yet, but just be aware of that if you have like the perfect place planned out in your head to smack it. Uh, let's see. Oh, and then there's this cute little hutch that once again... <laughs> didn't know that I needed. Now that it's here, I have tons of ideas for. Let's put a basketball in there. Doesn't, doesn't that look like the hutch where even if nobody in the house played basketball, you would go over to your friend's house and there would be a basketball in it? Like, that's what this looks like. Or a soccer ball. And, and oh my gosh, you know what? A sports pack for the kids would be really fun to have one day. All right, but I'm getting distracted because apparently I don't want to do my laundry. <laughs> So we'll wrap up with the last of the new items to show off before we get into the actual laundry, the lovely woven rugs. And at first I was like, oh, it still looks a little weird in my huge, weird, awkwardly shaped kitchen to have just one of the rugs. But if you plunk down three in a nice little design like this, it looks great. And just to let you guys know, I learned while I was doing this that you can layer rugs and it will go in order of the first rug that you bought will go on the bottom and the newest rug that you you bought will go on the top so you might have to sell and resell some items and like rebuy them in order to get the ordering that you want but you can indeed layer rugs to make nice little effects like so and then ah, one of my favorite items in the game this is the brand new little collection of herbs that has been added in it has quite a variety of slotches to the wood on the back there and it's quite lovely um and I just, I don't know. I guess, I guess my only, my only complaint and disappointment is that there are just not like just eight more various varieties of herbs hanging on a wall for me to play with. And I know that's so petty and all, all is just on me because I'm so happy and this one's so quaint and cute and it suits all of my needs but it was just really funny because I put it down and I was like I love that and then I was like okay and now I want like six more types of herbs hanging from the ceiling and on the walls to put everywhere and they're not there but that's where custom content can come in and save the day. So don't you worry, guys. I, um, I'll, I'll take care of that with some custom content pretty soon. And then there's this really weird kind of interesting thing. The wick Wicker Whims Shelving. And I haven't tried putting anything on it yet. But look, here's one of those little snakes. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, well, you know what I'm going to start plunking down on all of these shelves. More plants, more plants. I need little plants now. Oh, there we go. There's some more herbs. I can just start. Ah, oh, this is the best. Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I think these shelves are now one of my new favorite things. Anywhere that lets me put more plants up on high places has my vote of confidence. So yeah, that's fantastic. Now I feel better. That actually completely satisfied the deep held urge and desire that I had for more herbs on the walls. All right, and then the item that most people are probably going to freak out on before we even get to the laundry room, and that's this. Holy wow, the window. <laughs> The bay window that people really wanted and have wanted for a long time, I wasn't really sure about, to be completely honest. I was kind of like, eh, it's a window. It does window things. Uh, but then actually getting my hands on it and looking at it and stuffing it full of plants... <laughs> I like it. I like it indeed. So the first thing I did was plunk it down. It's huge. It's a lot bigger than I realized it would be. I was thinking it was a two tile wide thing. It's a four tile wide behemoth. So make sure you have room for it. I know you're supposed to probably smack those ottomans in there and like sit in the bay window and read books in a very picturesque manner, but this is my world and so plants won priority and it's now full of plants and I love them and I just want to point out that, um, oh my gosh, this... <laughs> This Sapphire Suns flower pot from um, the Pets expansion pack fits in perfectly with this kind of country motif. It just slides right in with the laundry pack, no problem. So I absolutely love this. You can do more practical things with it, like put in some ottomans. Uh, if you're planning on having a nice little bay window in your teenager's room that she can sit and read a book in, just know that this is huge. And so you're going to need a lot of wall space for your kid if you're going to do that. And then there's a couple new doors. They're really nice. They're doors. They look like little farm doors. I don't think we really had a style exactly like this one before. One of them is normal and one of them comes with a little shade thingy doodle. Very nice doors. Wonderful. And then there's... Oh, and I shrunk down the, the, the little Wimram wicker rug things. So the, if you're not sure what to do with the huge woven rugs, because this is their natural state, they're quite large, then you can go ahead and shrink them down, shrinky dink them down. And it actually made a perfect little way to do that layering effect again. And bada boom, bada bing, I filled up this awkward little hallway. Again, the stuff pack is kind of, it was weird. The more I would pick up an item and look at the house, the more I was like, this actually fleshes out and fills in what has until now just been an empty room and I was surprised because no other stuff pack has really done that for me before so this is weirdly like the most usable stuff pack and yet the one to be honest I wasn't the most excited about it all so I am surprised maybe because my expectations were kind of like at the level I tend to keep making my laundry <laughs> I'm very, very pleasantly pleased by the results. But then we're over here and we also have a brand new adorable little sink. I am going to smack all sorts of adorable things into that basket using the move objects on sheet. And finally, we have the laundry room, the center of the home's cleanliness right here, packed full of all of the decorative goodies that it had to offer me. I shrunk down the that little trio of really cute plant things and shoved it in the corner there and it's actually really cute not sure if it's going to block uh this particular washer or not but we'll see and then we've also got a little rack right up here that actually um kind of it's kind of weird to me it shouldn't be but it's just a teensy teensy pinch weird to me even though i know people voted on this so that's why it exists to have a broom and to have an ironing rack when we don't use either of them but it looks awesome so um, it's there it's there it really again to be honest what else would I decorate a laundry room with you know what I mean what else would I put in here it would be really weird to want to do something with the walls and be like so 
what kind of picture do I hang in here? So to be able to hang, even if I don't use it, a ironing board and a broom really kind of fills in that room, makes it feel more alive uh, without stressing me out and helping, like making me have to pick things. And again, I, I wasn't really like into this, whatever this guy is again, don't really remember. Uh, I'm checking uh, when life gives you linens and I think it's considered like a little in table surface and I wasn't really like that excited about it and yet I'm really happy it's here because without it my laundry room would just be a big empty box and I have long since graduated from the stage of life where I want my uh, sims houses to be big empty boxes. A couple of clutter items that came with the pack as well. A really cute end table. I actually really love that one because it has all of those little tiny cubby holes that I could hide things inside of like I love in real life too. A really nice practical plain Jane rug. Just simple not even any frills like the ones upstairs no fringes even this isn't a fringe benefits rug we're not that close this is a very practical relationship we have and it's just for laundry so here we go I've tossed that rug in here another really interesting very nice little decorative shelf that has plenty of space to be stuffed full of who knows what I don't even know what I'm gonna hide up there it'd be kind of cute if there was like a little coin jar that you could hide up there. That would be really, really fun because you're always finding coins in your laundry when you're doing your laundry. But speaking of doing your laundry, now that I have definitely rambled on long enough, let's come out. Oh, and I have two more things. Two more things. Just remembered. So excited about this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh, you can add flowers. I can launder my clothes with Snapdragons. We're going to be doing that in just a second here. And you can hang your clothes right over here. Apparently, you can also upgrade your uh, clothing rack. But this is the, the beautiful clothing line, or excuse me, clothing line that's right out here. This is the little washer tub. And there's one more sink that I just kind of shoved into the barn because it's a perfect barn sink. Is that not the most perfect barn shed gardening sink ever? Practical to the point. Has everything that you need right there. All right. So uh, finally. Oh, and then how did I? I forgot the tree. I'm so sorry, tree. I got so excited about you in the trailer. And then I almost forgot. I, I, it's sort of surreal to be like, wait, it's really here. That's my tree now. You are my tree now. Well, welcome to the family. Trust me, I take good care of my plants. All right, so we're going to come pop on over and we're going to send our wonderful, wonderful little pine here to search pockets. I want to see what he does if he searches pockets. It'd be really cute to have maybe the kids come in and search pockets in just a second. So, all right, pine. Now's the time. Do you see anything in there? Did the kids leave something? Or is there literally nothing in there because you guys literally haven't put any of your laundry on the ground? Uh, uh, oh my gosh, 21 simoleonians! Holy cannolis! Can you do it again? There's nothing left to find? Eh, that's so cool! Okay, so we found 21 simoleonians. That's actually really awesome. Oh, right, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, but let's go ahead and we're going to do laundry and let's add one layer of laundry to the washing machine. We're going to figure out how this works. I have the stacked washing machines and I have one, the single washing machine and the dryer right over here. You can do different upgrades with them. Uh, Pine has the ability to do instant upgrades, which will give all of the upgrades at once, but we'll kind of save that while we poke different things. There's laundry additive, there's pre-soak. The pre-soak cycle will take slightly longer, but increases the chance that the washing machine will make your clothes pristine. There's speed cycle, tungsten drum, and whisper quiet. So quite a few things. I guess the laundry additive tray would make it so that you could actually go ahead and you could add in the flowers like to the wash tub. So we'll investigate with that wash tub in just a second. Can I... Okay, so you can unload and set laundry down. The cleanliness is used clothes. The dryness is dry. Um, unload and move laundry to add to dryer. Hang on clothesline. Let's wash the laundry. Are you a quiet washing machine or are you going to be like in my ear. Nice. Nice. It could be a lot worse. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Hang on. Um, Amber, why don't you go ahead and wear a ninja outfit? 
<laughs> there we go. Which is totally not what she would actually do. But I'm thinking about clothes. Then she interrupted me. All right. Uh, so this laundry basket is now empty. That wasn't part of the plan. The plan was to go do some on the wash tub. So we're going to buy some more dirty laundry. I'm sure that's what everybody wishes for. No, the dirty laundry is gone. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, good. There's some up here. Okay, do laundry. Oh, you can search for pockets up here to you. All right, Pine. Well, now he gets to soothe himself. Look at how nice all of that wicker just kind of filled out the house. I am really surprised by that. But now Pine gets to soothe himself with the calm contentness of cleaning the home, taking care of his family, doing their laundry as an act of love for them. And this is weirdly soothing because it's like taking care of a routine chore that makes you happy i don't know why this is so satisfying <laughs> it shouldn't be but for some reason it really is all right so we found 10 simulonians in that one let's go ahead and we're gonna go wash some laundry in the wash tub so pine has picked up the bag of dirty laundry and he is gonna go ahead and just ooh, grody apparently that's like really dirty laundry and I guess if you have a hamper, it prevents your Sims from just like throwing the laundry on the ground is my guess. All right. Oh, and then there's another set of wicker chairs, by the way. Totally forgot to mention that. I told you we had a wicker infestation. It's absolutely everywhere now. But I put it next to the Don't Weep the Llama um, table and it actually looks really nice out in the front yard under a tree for like everybody to play at. So highly recommend it. All right. Can I add in add laundry additive? Apples? Yeah, let's add in some apples. I want apple scented laundry. That sounds awesome. All right. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. Okay. And what skill is he using? What kind of skill is he using? Okay. No, stop that. Stop that and throw in the apples. I want to, I want apple scented laundry. Come on, buddy. Toss those apples in. Okay. So he sprinkled in some apples. That makes me happy. Oh, look at that! It smells with the beautiful natural sense of nature and applesauce. <laughs> or maybe that's just what we fed the baby for breakfast this morning. Oh my gosh, Pine! Oh, and you wear your dapper little vest and everything. So I'm sure this is like, this is like a dream. This, unfortunately for him, is a dream because the family does not have enough money to have all these nice things. But maybe when, oh my gosh. <laughs> family there's just a ghost watching us from the background that's fine okay then <laughs> oh hang on if i get this oriented just right i might be able to make this the thumbnail and now i want you guys to go and comment if you see it in the thumbnail because that would be so cool okay anyway we have apple scented laundry now oh my gosh allison i don't think i can do allison i really don't think that i can do uh ghost laundry i'm sorry uh anyway <laughs> back to this very cool i can already see people modding it to look like uh really old time oh my gosh look because we put those additives in it's just got like magical little additive apple butterflies floating out this is so weirdly calming what skill on earth is he building right now um also somebody feed the baby what on earth woman okay so his mother is off to go feed him but what skill is does doing the laundry build <laughs> fitness <gasps> this would build fitness. Oh my gosh, it would. Because this would be so much work. Oh, those arm muscles must be getting a real workout. Oh my gosh, and he has to work at this for a while. Let's speed this up a little bit. There you go, Pine. You've got this. See how happy he is outside, working hard. When did you eat, get eaten by a cow plant? You should know better. All right, there we go. All right, what's he doing now? No, you don't go. You don't need to go watch your son. Somebody else should be doing it. All right, so let's unload and move laundry to the clothesline. So it should smell like wonderful apples. Looks like the apple smell will stay there for a while because we added in so many apples. Perhaps now he's hanging the clothes up on the clothesline. This is so charming. Okay, is somebody feeding this baby? Don't ask for a bath. Feed yourself. Where is the toddler in the basement? Where? Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh. 
The ghost has him. Normal day in this green family. Don't you worry, guys. All right. Well, anyway, let's come over now that Pine has spent some time working on what I can only assume is his fitness skill. That's my guess for, yeah, that looks like the only, well, rocket science. It's either fitness or rocket science, guys. Those are the only two skills that close to leveling up, <laughs> but I don't think it's rocket science. It would be really funny if just like randomly you could get one rocket science skill point for working on the laundry. That would crack me the heck up. All right, so let's unload and move the laundry to the dryer. In the time it took us to get the laundry and wash it, the washer's already done. But at least the laundry outside smells like fresh apples. How do you like them apples, huh? <laughs> oh no. All right, but it's all sparkly shiny. Now we can go ahead and we're going to dry it. All right. Good. Okay, good. So the laundry is being dried. And now I guess we need to actually go and have a life. <laughs> And then we need to go and actually just like do something else. Pine, this is why you need hobbies. <laughs> I really wouldn't mind a hobby pack actually. Uh, but yeah, okay. So now I guess you just kind of wait for your clothes to dry. We made a huge mess with all this water down over here. I'm sure that's fine. Uh, and then once the clothes are dry, we'll be back and we'll see, we'll see how the apple scented butterfly laundry compared to the laundry done with more traditional front loading laundry washing and drying machines inside. Ah, it's finally done. And yes, I didn't just sit here and watch my Sims laundry dry. <laughs> Weirdly weirdly soothing. I'm a little bit concerned with how nice this has been, but just watching Sims laundry, it doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. But let's go ahead. So dryness is damp. Uh, the laundry, no dry laundry. What do you mean dryness is damp? Uh, unload and set laundry down. The cleanliness is pristine. The dryness is damp. So for some reason, it looks like this laundry okay no it says all right well let's unload and set laundry down and let's just see how that does okay no this is very dry laundry look at this um well the dryness damp is kind of weird to me i don't understand what that means um devon looks a little bit upset i don't think that her brand new fancy pants laundry and dryer worked the way that it was supposed to because this this is soaking wet still. What is this? You weren't exactly a cheap dryer. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Let's go ahead. We're throwing it back in the dryer. I, I wish I had a dryer that insta-folded all my clothes as soon as I was done though. And like, I guess clean the lint tray. I don't want this house to burn down. What is going on here? Work. Hey, you. You know what? I could kick this machine a few times, I think. There we go. All right, and somebody's trying to call the ghost. She's busy, she's dead. <laughs> Meanwhile, outside this laundry, it still has butterflies. I will take that butterfly effect and put it on everything in this world. It's so beautiful. Um, and it's still drying. So I guess our laundry isn't done. I guess we need to go like do something, like a hobby. Huh. Any minute now. Any minute. This isn't exactly zip quick, but you definitely don't need to worry about your sims not having time for everything else in life. Because this takes a little while. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me! Okay, so now the laundry is pristine, but it's still damp. Hmm, I'm beginning to wonder if we desperately need to upgrade this somehow. So let's go ahead and set the laundry to the side and maybe test out a different, <laughs> maybe test out a, a different thing. You can do speed cycle, you can do whisper quiet. Maybe I just need to test out an entirely new laundry machine because look at this, our clothes are still soaking wet. We're gonna, can I, can I please like put this in a different, like, Oh my gosh, and no dryer available? What do you mean no dryer available? Is this not a dryer? That's so odd. Anyway, let's try this again. So do laundry, add to dryer. Okay, come on, come along now. And I guess our only choice is to try drying it another time. Maybe I will learn something in this struggle 
this this intense struggle to do laundry that will help us when it comes to uh, you guys possibly doing your Sims laundry. So I'm going to continue to fight with this dryer. It kind of reminds me of the dryer in my basement, which tried to kill us once. Um, definitely, definitely don't appreciate that old guy. And believe it or not, it wasn't the lint trap. You can indeed die. Your Sims can die from lint fires, which are a serious matter. Serious matter in real life as well. So make sure that you clean your lint traps guys I'm not joking I know people whose homes have caught on fire because of that but um yeah I guess the heck it makes a little song that was so cute oh my gosh okay let's try again let's set the laundry down Devin apparently was doing who knows what uh come on Devin come on all right <gasps> that looks more promising and it's dry and warm yay all right. Can I put it in her inventory? What happens if we put it inside of her inventory? Okay. Uh, does she get a mood boost or something? Whoops. I was clicking on the wrong lady. That's why. Uh, put laundry away. Okay. So nothing happens if you put it in her inventory other than the fact that somehow... What the heck? <laughs> it just goes in her pocket. And when I said put laundry away... It made a swirly doodly do of hilariousness. Now, how do I have her interact with that clean laundry? Can I have her change outfit? Like, or just like change into you? Um, try on new outfit. Let's try on her sleepwear. Let's see, maybe, maybe Devin actually ended up cleaning her sleepwear. Now she has nice clean clothes. She can come into her closet. Whoa, somebody changed. I saw that Pine spun into his new clothes and his clothes immediately spun and they immediately went in here. Why are you wearing this? This is not her normal outfit. What the heck? Try new outfit every day. Did I have her try a new outfit? Oh, she is just trying random outfits. Well, maybe, okay, that's not what I wanted whatsoever. Uh, can I have you just like change into your, get out, of, get out of there. Just get out. All right, and then can I have you outfit, change outfit, Devin. I need to have her go do this. She's totally somebody who would just adore. Here, let's have her put on her gardening outfit. She's somebody who would adore trying on completely random clothes and things. She even like put weird flowers in her hair. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're gonna have our Sims go do that. I've actually never done that option before in all the years I've had this closet. Are you wearing clean clothes now, woman? Oh my gosh, she was having so much fun. There we go! Happy from Pristine Clothing. The clothes from this load of laundry turned out exceptionally clean. Nice! And that gives you a plus two happiness boost, which is actually strong enough to overcome being uncomfortable from being hungry. That's pretty darn powerful if you ask me. So now the question becomes, what about the outdoor laundry? Our wonderful apple scented laundry? We're just gonna have to wait and see. And it's done! Huzzah! All right, guys, our laundry is now dry. It was a little close to about 12 hours, I think is what it took before it dried. But let's actually have our teenager, Fern, come on down and have her unload and set the laundry down. And let's see if we got the dryness factor working the first time, at least, with having the laundry line here. So she's feeling really playful from wearing warm laundry, which is pretty darn cool because she just changed into her outdoors outfit. Uh, however, that boost from the laundry just disappeared. And then let's go ahead. Okay, Fern, can you like put the laundry away now? So this is the, the laundry. Its cleanliness is absolutely filthy because it was done in the wash tub. Oh no! Its dryness is dry, so at least it we have we have two opposing factors. We have pristine clean but damp from the indoor set of laundry making things, and then we have super dry and fragrant and filthy on the outdoor laundry side of things. But look at that! It's got both stink bubbles and butterflies. 
you know what pine did his best i'm gonna take a picture my my little pine's first time doing laundry with his own two hands right outside let's see what fern thinks about all this all right so she just put that away and let's have her go ahead and outfits let's have her change outfit change into her normal clothes and she has dry clothes simply fine just fine <sighs> So it doesn't seem like being fragrant, uh, I guess maybe being fragrant was a bad thing because it was like, it's fragrant from from stinking so bad and being filthy, not fragrant from the delightful scent of apples. And that's the cutest little picture ever. Oh my goodness. So maybe next time we'll just straight up add some snapdragons and maybe maybe that'll do it a little bit better who knows we'll have to see also i have heard that if you work with your uh oh okay maybe adding snapdragons is a bad idea don't add snapdragons for now or at least maybe not previously harvested snapdragons all right there we go so i've also heard that having oh and apparently my teenager cannot use this what what? I was going to make my kids, I was going to have, have chores in this household and I was going to have my kids out there grinding away in the laundry. Well, lucky them, I suppose. <laughs> However, I have heard that you can actually teach your other Sims how to do laundry. And if we put the, oh, oh, there we go. Fern, you're not free yet. Okay, so I messed up. You have to go back over to the hamper first, collect the laundry, and then you can send your teenager, kick her outside, tell her to go enjoy the great outdoors, maybe scent the water with a snapdragon at some point. She can dump it on in. And I've heard rumor that whilst they work on uh, doing this, they should actually gain... I'm hoping some responsibility. So if you have the parenthood pack, when you make your, your children sims do chores or do laundry, I think they can gain responsibility. I don't see any happy little responsibility chicks popping up above her head, but there'll be plenty of opportunities in a household this big with so many kids living on a farm to see how the laundry works and how we can make sure that by doing it for the family, Fern can take up the mantle of responsibility as Generation 3 heir that Generation 2 to air pine has had all along so all right guys i'm really pleased i did not expect i was really coming into this with kind of bland fine i felt like the shirt the apple scented shirt just fine expectations and i'm walking out of it really tickled really happy uh very just there's something about this particular stuff pack that was the right kind of stuff especially for this household knowing especially this is a very specialized situation a specialized household we're on a farm this is perfect for that farm wicker everywhere reefs above the farmyard doors that just center perfectly on the three tiles doors and and laundry that can go out on laundry lines and it just is all very small details that really really pull together so I definitely give it high marks far higher than I thought I was going to and it really does have the <laughs> amazing sense of responsibility and the sense of knowledge that it's because of a lot of you guys everybody coming together and voting on the stuff pack ended up creating it hopefully they'll have something similar to that in the future and it was really exciting to see all of the other ideas that are popping around in the sims 4 team for for future potential packs so i'm really excited for like an exotic wedding pack oh my gosh that'd be awesome so we'll have to look into more of those in the future and i'm really looking forward to popping back into our sims 4 cow plant challenge now and being able to actually show off the laundry to the family themselves so i hope you guys will join me as we continue with that family pretty soon and i would love to hear your thoughts about the pack not so much about the pack that it's not but just about what's actually inside of this one not the packs that you wish were out so i am very excited to hear what you guys have to say and very excited to see how many of you saw the ghost hiding in the bushes whilst we did laundry and i will see you all next time Bye bye guys
Susul, everyone! I just wanted to let you all know that this wonderful... Oh, there was a ghost that just got eaten by a cow plant in the background. This pack was provided to me by EA for review. And I am very excited to go ahead and dive on in and reveal to you guys the dawn of a brand new way to put all of your teenagers hard at work in the background there. Oh my god. That's gonna have to be a blooper.